All right, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live on this Wednesday morning. Let's take a look at shares of Coinbase, the company out with its latest quarterly report last night. And we can see a healthy beat here on the top and particularly on the bottom line, $7.76 in adjusted earnings per share for the company. The street looking for close, something closer to 250. So uh, basically a three times beat there uh, on the bottom line. Stock is up some 3% in the pre-market. And this is a name that uh, we saw, Julie, struggle a little bit after the company came public via its direct listing. Now, as we've seen, the price of various cryptocurrency assets rise over the last month or so. We have seen the price of Coinbase shares rise in turn. Uh, but a couple of real standouts here, and, and I want to start with the, the revenue, the transaction revenue, as they break it down by their retail and institutional clients. So in the most recent quarter, $1.8 billion of their $1.93 billion in transaction revenue coming from those retail clients, institutions closer to uh, closer to, to $1 billion there, so or, or $100 million, excuse me. So, um, you know, an interesting breakdown there on on who is is earning the money for Coinbase at this time. And sort of reminds me, Julie, in a way of how Robinhood is seeing you know, the options activity, the more speculative part of, of their client base, um, you know, as the profit driver at this point. And at Coinbase, we're seeing retail, maybe a more active and more frenetic part of their client base, uh, certainly driving that business today. And what's interesting, maybe a little surprising to me at least, um, maybe not, retail investors pay higher fees than institutional traders. I guess it makes sense if you're talking about having the size to be able to negotiate a lower fee versus a retail. So it's good news for them that retail makes up a large proportion, although institutional uh, transactions are rising at a faster rate, even though they still make up a smaller portion. So what's interesting, too, about Coinbase is that so this quarter, this past quarter seems to show indeed that even if the price of Bitcoin is falling, it is still able to hold up relatively well. We did see the stock kind of zigzag around a little bit in the wake of the earnings, because while last quarter looked very strong, to your point, this current quarter may be not looking as strong. Coinbase doesn't give specific forecasts um, but as a matter of, of policy, I guess, but the company says that it, it expects to see lower third quarter uh, monthly transacting users and trading volumes. Um, and so that's something that initially put a little bit of a damper on the shares, but it looks like they are now bouncing back here in the early going as, as people are, are overlooking that perhaps because of the strength of last quarter. Yeah, and, and another one of these shifts that stands out in the quarter, 26% um, of total trading volume from Ethereum in the most recent quarter, that was higher than 24% for Bitcoin. And, and they report the last five quarters of volume by asset. And I mean, Bitcoin was 57% of total trading volume in the second quarter of 2020. So we have seen a major shift away from Bitcoin on the Coinbase platform in terms of what coins are being traded more often. More often now, assets on the platform obviously going to uh, decrease in value a little bit as the price of various coins decreased, but uh, the assets on the platform, $88 billion for retail investors, $92 billion for institutions. And I, I have to think, Julie, to some extent, uh, that that decline in retail holdings is in part maybe due to more doge exposure there from some of mm. those folks versus i don't know um they don't mention doge in the release which i hoped they would but only only robin hood i guess talks explicitly about about dogecoin and and coinbase which of course is a cryptocurrency exchange they uh they they let us they let us figure that one out for ourselves so interesting quarter there from coinbase that again uh the street likes and, and we saw beginning of the segment those blowout numbers relative to where the street was forecasting. 